Welcome back everyone. This video will be our green circle walkthrough video for our very last unit of social studies, which will be unit six on South America. So let's take a look at the long-term long -term learning target. By the end of unit six, I will know about the geography and history of South America. We're also gonna be covering a little bit about the e e economy in different South American countries and some civics as well but our main focus will be on geography and history, so that's the long-term learning target. For the green circle learning target, it will be able to identify the country's capital cities and major geography of South America. So with the learning targets out of the way, let's go through the tasks. Task one is to create a title page in your social studies notebook. It does not need to look exactly like mine, but it does need to have unit six and South America on it. You don't have to do a drawing of the country or you can do some other drawing that you feel might represent South America. So you need to include that. You'll ultimately have to upload a picture of your title page into the last task for this unit here, uh, and we'll get to that in a second. And then also, just look through the learning target page. Since we're remote learning, you don't have your own copy. So look through this, look at what the due dates are, look at what tasks are for each section. If you would like to have your own copy that you can print it off, maybe you're the type of person that likes to to tick each thing off as you finish it, just click the picture. By clicking the picture, it will allow you to make a copy of that document that you can then print off, or you can you know, color the tables a certain way on, on your computer if you don't want to print it off. So you can make your own copy of that assignment by clicking that picture. Task two is to color and label your political map of South America. This map should be in the uh, packet that I handed out to everyone. However, if you lost that map and you need to make your own copy, you can click here to make a copy. If you have a printer, print it out. If you don't have a printer and you still need to edit this, my recommendation would be to do file, download as a PDF. If you download this as a PDF, You can open that PDF. Let's see. So you can open that PDF with Cami. You can just do open with Cami. And then in Cami, you should be able to actually draw and label your map however you want. So there's ways you can label this. On a Chromebook, it has a built in editor you'll need to do open with Cami for yours. There's three things to help you complete your political map. I've included a labeled map of the countries in capital cities. The countries are all caps and bold. The capital cities have a star next to them. Some of them you might notice are right near borders like Asuncion and Buenos Aires are right near the borders of two countries. So if you're not 100% sure which capital belongs to which country, the second thing that will help you is the countries and capital cities list. So this has them all matched up. So Argentina, you know, is Buenos Aires, Bolivia is La Paz and Sucre. It actually has two capital cities, Brazil, Brasilia, Chile, all the way through. This has all of them. Then finally, it's not as much help, but it's interesting, is an inset map of South America so you can see where it is on the globe. Here's Central America up into North America and then you can see South America is remarkably close to Antarctica as well. So that's the political map. After the political map you need to complete two different Cetera review games. One's on the countries, one is capital cities and you need to earn a hundred percent. You should be able to do that without looking at your map. So once you can do that and you've been able to accurately get all of these. Go through these really quick. So once you have your 100%, you need to take a screenshot of that score. Of that score. So on a Windows computer, that's our Windows Shift S. I'm using a Chromebook here, so I have a slightly different command, but either way, you will take a screenshot of your score. On a Windows computer, that copies automatically, so you don't have to do anything from there. 
I will copy mine to the clipboard and then I can go back to that task 6. I can go to my Satera review games and immediately paste that picture in and then resize it so it doesn't take up the whole screen. So again you can just paste that in on a Windows computer. You don't have to do the extra step of copying to the clipboard. You'll do that for both Satera review games. Task 4 is a physical map. You're going to color it to look like this atlas. You don't need to include everything that's on the atlas. So you can click that to zoom in. You can zoom in on things. As it loads, it'll become much clearer. So you don't need to label everything that's on here. You need to label the things that are in bold on your map, like the Andes Mountains, Amazon Rainforest, which is also known as the Amazon Basin, etc. And then color it to look roughly like the atlases with greens and browns and yellows. If you again you lost your copy of this, you can click to make your own copy and use Kami to edit it if you need to by downloading it as a PDF. Task 5 is a GIM kit review of the physical features of South America. You need to earn $100,000 or if you haven't earned that after 40 minutes of active participation, it'll also tell me that you've completed the assignment. So you just click on the link for your class period, let it load and then start your review. Again, it'll tell you earn $100,000 to complete. Don't leave or close the tab. If you do, progress will not be saved. So once you've started this, don't close the tab until you're done. So find a time where you have 40 minutes or so to devote to getting that task done. And then task six is what I've been showing you all along, where you're going to be uploading pictures of your title page, your political map of South America, your two Satera review games, and your physical map of South America. There is no Green Circle Level Up quiz. Instead, we'll be taking that on December 11th at the end of this unit, and that means you are done with Green Circle.